then if you can I there's a question in here yeah. please if you have a question or a comment please feel free to ask or, or make it says ability make you get to the top but only character can keep you there yeah. ability gets you to the top but only character can keep you there or say Say, Yanche or no Saul Subain and a David Subain. It is character. It's an important thing. And then our lesson talks about in if you have the teacher's copy, in page one ninety seven on the right before the second question, it says godly character does not occur overnight. Rather, it grows over time. Some of us think we don't have certain characters. The upper channel say, "Nyang kupon suno, ane supapa no." Yet, oh sorry, ya na abetra. E adi a obeye ne da ada ada. Pacho, ya wo characters bi. Who ebe ti ma keke bi? Nyang keke bi characters. Ah, e wo Bible New Testament. It talks about God, godly character. Some of it is what godliness. Um, some of it is what patience. Do you have anything ebe ti ma kahon? Long suffering. Pacho mo kebi. Be brave, will be brave. Character of a Christian. Character that you are long suffering. Okay, Mukaya, now the welcome home. Please, Lieutenant, take off. The night fruit of the spirit. Very important. Yes. So the Bible or the text is cautioning us, which is very important for us to know, that leadership because it grows over time. If you want to take up the leadership or spiritual leadership, you must not be a novice. You should be somebody who is ready for that task. You should be available, especially you should know the word of God. The word of God should be part of you. You should have relationship with Jesus Christ. You should be baptized by the Holy Spirit. At least it equip you for you to be able to be effective leader. So in Timothy chapter three, uh, First Timothy chapter three, verse six, we are cautioning that a leader should be somebody who is not a novice to be given spiritual leadership is very important. I read the First Timothy three six. It says he yeah. was talking about from from the verse two. It has, but the number six says, not a novice, least being lifted up with pride, he fall into the combination of the devil. That is KG, uh, King James. I'll read the NIV as well. The verse, First Timothy 3, verse 6. It says that he must not be a recent covet, mm -hmm. or he may become conceited and fall under the same judgment as the devil. Now, my question is, uh, I, I like this, but I want to ask a question. If somebody comes to church, he's baptized in the Holy Spirit, like you said. He's, he's ojashos, like we say, when we all become young Christians. And he's desiring to work. And leadership want to give him a position. What should be our view? Should we fight leadership or we should say this is an exception? Wonderful. All of us, please. The Bible says, "I say, Obi Abasoi for fraud. Hong Kong 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 of the power of the Holy Spirit upon him or her. Yes, uh, Superintendent, let's just look at David. David should be an example because for him to be picked, 
or to be anointed to become the king or the leader of Israel, both uh, physical and spiritual, or political and then spiritual, you realize that naturally you, he, we, we will say that, oh, this guy, why should somebody who is taking care of the ship? Today, when we see those men following the, the ship and then the cattle, can, can you imagine that this person is to, be, to become a leader over a nation? But God saw something in him. So when leadership has seen something in that person, the person is audacious. The person is working. We are talking about character. Is this person's character ready to be submissive? Is this person's character ready to learn? Is this character ready to serve? If these traits are in you, I think even your selection to serve I don't think a lot will complain, but they will see it because God himself have identified you and you are being called to that service. So definitely you can serve. The only thing is the availability for you to be available for God to use. Thank you. Yeah. What he said is, Uwo, to me, no, and I'm a dear man. And so, Usu, and Obaino, Unyi, when you may Ebia or Casemo, Ebia and so you may you man and I know my course also on some on Nintia Seca cry. In Tibu, yes, or Uo Jacra, and I bet China when you one nineteen and Muka cry. Now, Bibia Pimpimo, and I have Bibi Pimpimo. How are very acting? A bebois, not yet in your acquaintance. When you meet challenges, when you are when you go through trials, when you come across issues, how you handle will help you to lead people. Thank you. Thank you. So, if a, rule, a ruler is to be effective, he must have the total support of those he rules, and in turn, he is obligated to keep their interest in mind at all times. So, if you are a leader who wants to lead the people, the people should also accept you as a leader. And at the same time, your heart should be towards them. So when your heart is towards them, I think it works together. It's a collective thing. So if you are pushing for a position and at the end of the day you are only seeking for your personal interest, you have to be careful. Thank you. I have a question. It says in our uh, uh, quarterly, total support. Do you have to always have the total support before you take leadership or you take the next step or you make a decision? Masembusan says, so you can do for Anybody can answer, please. Anybody can comment. Thank you. What all he said is, uh, okay, uh, let me explain in English and then you come in. All he said is, when you are taking a decision or, or if you come to the position of taking a decision, there will come a time that you don't have to get everybody's support, but you would have to, when you have the leadership, maybe in terms, like in the church, you have the women's ministry, men's ministry, the leadership of the church, they follow your vision, then you are, you are, allowed to go ahead it's important that you get the support of the team but it's not all times that you will use or have to wait to get everyone's support thank you okay so that answered what was the deepest longing of the israelites in choosing another king there's so a, a question on the floor it, yes so when we finish that it will thank you um my suggestion to total support if God chooses someone, 
I'm not sure the person has to get full support from the people. If it is God that has called you, sometimes God can call you and the people will never agree. But God knows how to deal with his people. And sometimes to some people, if you see them, for instance, when God asked Samuel to go and anoint David, when he saw the brothers of David, he decided to choose different other person because of how he sees. People, human beings are, we are so different from God. So sometimes it's not without support. It's what God is saying that he will insist to happen. Hallelujah. Take away. So I, I think he's made it in the two areas. That is when God called you for instance to assume the, uh, what, the headship of the flock. Definitely it's not every sheep that will be obedient to you. You have to what? Cultivate the character to be able to bring all the sheep together. So in that, whether the sheep wanted to eat somewhere or not, when you are guarding them, it will go where you wanted that sheep to go. So if you as the leader had that feel heart for the people, they definitely will have you at heart. I know for sure that those who are uh, opposition, like they want to be a, a what? distancing themselves from leadership maybe their interest is not being met so they begin to complain they begin to say things so if you are a leader who have the heart for all of them then you'll be able to win them in even though there'll be more complaints but you'll be able to lead them to the right place and the same people will come and then be nice with you amen amen i want to add one thing I read, one of the cries of a leader is that you should have a tiskin. It's not part of this, but I read it online. So you should have a tiskin. It doesn't mean that when you hear criticisms, you would not listen and search the truth in it. But you should not be moved by every comment you hear. If you are moved by every comment you hear, you will go astray. They all can say, Oh, yeah, I can't I said, I said, I said, but as in a bit tibiano, for quite dream dream when the bus and yammy. But now send me out bet in a little bit too, Tim, a little bit too good to you. Now they didn't need penny. As I know, Bibica Crabia, now would take Bibica Crabia, not a how. In here, sir, Obesha Obesha on hunting. Then you will be a Obetino, Umano, and count. Say, I send pa, open pie, a couple of chairs, I will want from, and I will why you say. Some more kaya as you are for the do baby now. Now, Jew for me, you know. Uh, Hebrew, uh, if a Hebrew for Jew and a Greek for and call for an anomaly, right? The money, you are not my own. I'm a back a champion for no, I'm a bomb pile and a coupon, a chair or more quine and a muti or no, I'm a year mile. Amen. Amen. Right. So, uh, Psalm 78, the verse 70 and 72 that talks about the shepherd's heart the heart that god expects every leader to have and that was what god saw in david so god was ahead actually picking him to be a leader to take care of the sheep so in the 72 we can identify two characters in there which is his integrity and his skillfulness so it's very important that when you are leading the people, you must have the skills. These skills that we're talking about, what are they? The skills should be one who have an uh, upright spirit. The skillfulness, upright spirit. That is standing, understanding, wisdom, and insight to what you are supposed to do. So when you have integrity you are having that understanding to all that you have to do you are upright in all that you are doing at the end of the day it's like even though people point fingers it will not be the truth but the real truth of yours will be seen 
So it's very important for us to be able to identify where we are lacking when it comes to integrity and then be able to come back to the track. Superintendent, you can add. It says the uprightness, the synonym is like in this particular context, righteousness. And we know that as Christians, our righteousness comes from Jesus Christ. So it is by faith. Mm. By faith. You know, it says we were once of the world and now we are in Christ. If we look at Galatians 5 from 16 there about to 20, it talks about who we were before and as a result of Christ, who we are now. To be upright is not easy, but with the Holy Spirit it is easy. In your own strength you will fail, but in the strength of Christ you will overcome. One of the things that make us fall in terms of uprightness is covetousness. If you don't move from the natural to the spiritual, if you don't allow the Holy Spirit to control you, you cannot be upright. You might be reeling. Like Paul said, the good I want to do, I do not do. The good I don't want to do, that is what I do. Most people don't come to leadership with their, oh, I will come, I will change the environment, I will do this, I will do this. But when they come and the luxury is around, the things are there, we want to have our way. So it's important that we need Christ, we need the Holy Spirit to be able to stand aright. He says without it, our outward strength, our abilities will fall short many many times you might wish to do so well but without uprightness without standing for the truth without trusting god to take you through to take you to the end midway you will turn around amen so, thank you so a uh, caring leader should fear god he should bear the fruit of the spirit he should be selfless and should be people centered so that is a shepherd heart which God saw in David and he chose him. So by seeking him through the word of God, prayer, and propagating his word, that is witnessing about him, talking about him to other people who bring God's desire to pass. Because he desired that none should perish he wants each and every one to come to the saving knowledge of God. So we have to care as leaders. What we are trying to say is that so far as you are a child of God, you are believing in Jesus Christ, you are a spiritual leader. And therefore, you must practice the integrity and your skills. That is the giftings that God has been giving to you in every area of your life. Can we go to the next one if there's your kind is here and say or say so be Christo near nine yan coupon I wear the can for say the Peter can or say oh yeah nyan coupon a sorry ne oh your henny oh your sorry ne oh nyan coupon the Christo need be an yes and penny phone quite Christo need be an a so would they or door a homo bro na o de nipa etna yeah dear we here so we will go to the next one if there's no any other question or contribution any question or any contribution from the floor if there should be anything you want to add to the first part okay so then let's continue with the second part nature nature fellowship nature fellowship and in this text let's first chronicles chapter 12 16 to 17 you read okay it's not in our book so i'll read from here okay he say other benjamins that is first chronicles 12 16 other benjamites and some men from judah also mm. came to david in a stronghold mm. david went out to meet them and said to them mm. if you have come to me in peace to help me mm. i am ready for you to join me mm. but if you have come to betray me to my enemies mm. when my hands are free from violence may the god of our ancestors see it and judge you 
Amen. Can you add the 18 straight away? The spirit came on Amasia, chief of the 30, and he said, We are yours, David. We are with you, son of Jesse. Success, success to you, and success to those who help you. For you, for your God will help you. So David received them and made them leaders of his raiding bands. Hmm. So the first part, exercise caution. So these people who were followers of Saul before has now decided to come and join David. And in this case, David is asking whether they are for him. And he's saying that we should exercise caution because when you are a leader or you are appointed to be a leader, everybody will want to identify with you. People will rush to you. Your family will come. People whom you don't even know anywhere will also want to come and identify with you. Whether for good or for bad. Some will come for their selfish gain. Some will come to support you. Some even in their supporting is towards what they are looking for. So that's why we have to be careful in whatever we are doing. So David was very cautious here to be able to find out whether these guys who were once following Saul, is it just because Saul is no more there they want to come to him or they are coming in, 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 in with a good heart to support his way and they made that assurance that they have come to be with him. He said, nothing could have been more encouraging, however, than to have a group from the tribe of Benjamin come to him. This was Saul's own tribe. It was no light thing for these people to declare their loyalty to to the one Saul considered his enemy and chief rival. You see, they could have, he could have just said yes. Since they have come, I would just accept them. But he inquired. And that is where we need to exercise wisdom. Um, okay, before we go to the question, if you have something okay. to add. My superintendent said that or say, say, we can do for a bit of a coffee bounce chain, a bit the adrenpa, a bit a bit bring so bad, a idea of being a few whole engine or more, but a bit may feel fear, it may feel bigger. They be here and say, Oh, Jenny Power, where to a Uber Conya, many man, now do I dream better for no one who had the current in the paper do it. In the party can name the especially one young memory, untimin penny penco. But maybe I bet you don't be see a word, I saw you dream on a hoon here. I saw the in Pianny Pen, could be a baby be I saw it, Ojuno. Would be Biara baby be I saw Ojuno. Now Ojuna, before the manager, man, I saw who said, Or take Yamia Samasa. Say, Oper saw the Nikan with inner circle and one. I saw Ubusa who said, Well, Doom Pemper will be only Yamia Sam. In Tanona, yes, we are cancer. So, Ben, I can do for a cool brave, but I can't see me bradro. Patch of him ye, not con your meaning and sending in an Okay, thank you. Yes, so was it wrong for David to question the motives of the pe of these people or this man? Was it wrong? So, yes, you, you oh, see, David, go find the man and now a church in Adrian say, Unze, some more day, I've been panned by the American, some more if I've been panned by the any a damutrison or say, David, I some sassam or kind of na and I'm quite past the person, nay, yeah, say, or back answer. Now, Cotterly, no, no, person, me kind of I'm not sure. I'm saying David manifested the attitude Jesus said should characterize his followers wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. The Lord said to us as Christians, we should be wise as serpents mm -hmm. and harmless as a dove. Or purchase mm -hmm. a Christopher, I said, Moon Yansa, I said, Well, what about one number for me? I never be of a fast, I ain't teaching, so I ain't gonna answer before you be monity. And now, a say it is a bubra no man so a baby be a subi so yes a bubra no man into you be a say what do I drink to from you be so a say what they adore a children call for amen so you can take this text Psalm 2 verse 10 it said 
be wise now therefore O you sorry okay okay i read psalm 2 verse 10 therefore you kings be wise be warned you rulers of the earth should i continue yes yes. verse 11 Mm -hmm. serve the lord with fear Mm -hmm. and celebrate his rule with trembling Mm -hmm. that's it so when you have become a king you have been given the position you've taken the the desire to lead the people you should be wise you should humble yourself and steady. We can also look at uh, Proverbs 13 20. Proverbs 13 20. Okay. Proverbs 13, 13 verse 20. 20. Yes. And I read Walk with the wise and become wise, mm. for a companion of fools yes. suffers harm. Um, companions of fools. So when you refuse to be wise and you just accept them, when these people were coming, uh, David has to be wise for him to be able to uh, be assured and he was not using any other thing but he was using the word of God, the knowledge or the wisdom of God and then I think the fi- final one that we can read to that is 1 Corinthians 3 18 which uh, Paul also talked to us about, 1 Corinthians 3 18 and I read, okay. do not deceive yourself mm. If any of you think you are wise by the standards of this age, mm. you should become fools so that you may become wise. The fools is in quotes. Yeah. So, so let me read another version. Mm-hmm. I'll read the New King James New Version. James, New King James. Okay. He says, let no one deceive himself. Mm. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this age, mm. let him become a fool that he may become wise. There was oh, no quote on this yes. one. The, the fool in quotes is just trying to tell us that, you see, a person who is a fool, he, he hum, it's like anything goes. When you say, oh, that, oh, he'll go. You can imagine those guys we see as if uh, just, he just obeys, just like a servant. He's always obedient. So if we want to be people who will be leaders, humility should play a role here and for us to be wise and we'll be able to conquer many things. The last part of it, which I like in the quarterly, the page 199, the last paragraph under the question. At some point in our lives, we may have been wronged by others. Having been hurt, we must have a tendency to reject them even when they come to us desiring reconciliation. At these times, we must follow David's example. When someone truly repents, we must accept him or her back into fellowship. So it's very important that when people repent and they come to us, we should accept them. The issue is, how do you know that truly repented? The person will come with a humble heart. He will come with the word of God. He will come with a heart to lay low. He's not coming for argument. He's not coming to explain himself. He's coming to just say, I'm sorry. Such people will accept them. But even those who might be so difficult to handle, we should not put them in our hearts. But rather, we should keep on to educate them. Give them the word of God. The only way that we can cancel people is through the word of God. Give them the word of God gradually. And by your example, they will by all means come to the realization. Because definitely God's word does not go and return void. It will by all means accomplish the purpose of it. Thank you. The okay, I said, okay, baby, okay, now. Nah. Yeah, na ubi etia o etia o na so ana wa kan se bi na afum o o se ya na empe bebre no e ya o mu na se onyoko kristo ni e ba wonche ana obi bia re ba wonche na o chere se wonu ne ho a e sre ana ehia se kristo ni o de be che no men tra asem dada so sa de bia na 
menfe enko twa na me refer ma no de okas ehu hia se kristo ni odi nyame asem ebe show se kristo ni no um, oye humble ye mik awo no no na odi wa no keka kokas was amasai's prophecy so important to david the verse 18 it's so necessary was it needed for amasai to speak was that he said the word of god so as a christian when you get confirmation from the holy spirit do not harden your heart there are times that you want to do something you are troubled you are not certain and then a word of god comes you come to church the word of god comes it says let go forgive let him take it accept him don't try to analyze the word of god that you have heard because the word of god comes to confirm what God has already maybe even informed you or provoked you onto good works. Mm. Okay. 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 Yankupon in him at the AC. Now Benjamin is not my band horn on it. Judah for no band horn in Yan, Yankupon, or the Nabakan. No, he has a excuse to any over my home. Now, what show my Sabia Bassor and our tears, Sambi, and I won't have only a cry, shall not cast in beer. I had the one train home, I want you no more, and I'm going to be so to one train home. Now, she nipper back more kind. Who says she nipper back up no asaka, and I could be ready at the same as some yaka, same as some yaka. I saw this a conya me and him saying, Yankupon. Say what semunia, Mama come and tell me yem. I mean to mean to say Amen. 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 So that is a confirmation of God's purpose and the way God wanted to do it. And the good thing is that David accepted them and even assigned responsibility to them. That's something that, as a spiritual leader, as a leader, should be able to know the capacity at which you can assign people. You should know their ability and the skills that they have and you place them at the right places so that they'll be able to do the right thing. He did not assign them to duty and at the same time he was holding on to the duty. He allowed them to work. So assign people and let them work so that the results will come. Christo ni penny a time be a suit media de shanko for sa no more ye. Amen. Any question or any contribution? But sure, if you have anything, you will be can na I be a utimi busa and out to me can. Opera so sadi be can one. It be another be about Yakopa de Yatra Kun send an amy can ya over so catch any kind of online. So if you're on online and you want to send us a message or a comment, please we welcome it. Okay. Thank you. Right, the third pass say recognize God's presence. That is the A part is bringing back the act. Can we take a text in First Chronicles 13, 1 to 3? Okay. And I read. Okay. David conferred with each of his officers, the commanders of the thousand and commanders of hundreds. Mm -hmm. He then said to the whole assembly of Israel, If it seems good to you, and if it is, if it is the will of the Lord our God, let us send word far and wide to the rest of our brothers throughout the territories of Israel and also to the priests and Levites who are with them in their town and pastor land to come and join us. Verse 3. Let us bring the ark of our God back to us for we did not inquire of it during the reign of Saul. Should I continue? Should I continue? Yes. yes. Verse 4. After the verse. Yeah. The whole assembly agreed to that, mm. to this yeah. because it seems right to all the people verse 5 so david assembled all the israelites from the shishore river in egypt to lebo hamad to bring the ark of god from kirat jerim verse 6 david and all the israelites with him went to bala of judah to bring up the balak of judah is the same as kirat jerim to bring up from there the ark of god the lord who is enthroned between the cherubim the ark that is called by the name Verse 7, they moved the ark of God from Abinadab's house on a new cart with Uzzah and Ahio guiding it. David and all Israel 
were celebrating with all their might before God with songs and with harps, lyrics, tambourine, chambers, and trumpets. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. When they came to the threshing floor of Kidon, mm -hmm. Uzzah reached out his hand to steady the ark because the ox stumbled. Mm -hmm. The Lord anger burned against Uzzah okay. and he struck him down because he had put his hand on the ark. So he died there before God. Verse 11. Then David was angry because the Lord's wrath had broken against Uzzah and to this day, that place is called Perez Uza. Verse 12. David was afraid of God that day and asked, How can I ever bring the ark of God to me? He did not take the ark to be with him in the city of David. Instead, he took it aside to the house of Obed Edom, the Gittite. The ark of God remained in the family of Obed Edom, in his house for three months. And the Lord blessed his household and everything he had. Amen. Amen. So that is David after assuming office he realized that there was something missing and which must come back to where it's supposed to be. The zeal was there so he needed to seek the people's view. Oh, So he brought them together for them to be able to go in for the ark. In the process of doing the right thing there was a mistake and the mistake was the way at which he are supposed to carry the ark the ark was supposed to be carried by the levites in a particular order it, they were even ordered to carry it on their shoulders it was not supposed to be in the cart but new technology today we will say so now let's put it on the cart let's pull it it will be nice but god's standard must be god's standard sometimes we cannot help god we should allow god's word to be as it is Uza is an example for us he thought oh it is falling let me put it in order it was a good desire to do if we should allow that thing to fall maybe something else so you also want to help. Sometimes that's all we do. So that when you, you are behind, you say, oh, it's, it's not going well. Let me go and do it. But all you know, God wants you to see that and even alert maybe the leader, not you yourself to take the initiative. It's very important. We should be able to be obedient and follow the rules of God. Superintendent. Yeah, I think... Um if you look at when they lost the ark and it went to the land of the philistines mm. it destroyed them many times it destroyed their gods it destroyed their homes so they sat as the philistines and they said let's take the ark back to the israel so they they put a cut and they put the ark on it and they said let's just watch if it goes in this direction then it is going it is god's that is the god of this ark that is destroying us mm. so they put it on an, a cut and then it went to the land of Judah or the land of Israel. So when David thanked him, they were copying what the Philistines had done, which is wrong. Because God had, like my superintendent said, God had given them a way. So it's important that as Christians or leaders in Christ, we do not copy the ways of the world when God has given us a specific way to go. It's so important. Thank you. There's a contribution I want to read from Kriya Kuma, and it's a, it says, At some point in our lives, we may have been wronged by others. Having been hurt, we must have a tendency to reject them, even when they come to us, desire reconciliation. Mm. By Sister Rosemary, it says, At some point in our lives, we may have been wronged by others. Having been hurt, we must have a tendency to reject when they come to us, desire reconciliation. Thank you, Sister. We did she say we must have a tendency to reject them no no no. even when they come to us is that is there a question she's asking uh it's because we've addressed that yes, we addressed we that earlier sure. so we just added so, a contribution yes, yes okay right so it, you you need not reject but you should accept them and be able to reconcile with them thank you our sister yeah thank you very much i want us to uh, read John 10 verse 10 it's a popular scripture that we all know 
John 10.10. 10. Oh. John 10, 10 verse 10. Yes. The thief does not come except, except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yes. I have come that they may have life, mm. and that they may have it more abundantly. Okay. Ephesians 6 verse 11. Ephesians 6 verse 11. Ephesians 6 verse 11. 11. Yes. It says, Put on the old armor of God that you may be able to stand against the rules of the devil. Mm. So From it, King James. And yeah. I King James. Thank you very much, President. Yes. Yeah, so the quarterly is saying that today we do not need objects like the ark to help us to worship. However, spiritual lessons abound in this passage we have an en enemy for more far more dangerous than the philistines the christian is engaged in a constant spiritual warfare that is john 10 10 so the devil is always at work to steal to kill and to destroy the devil never stops trying to steal the truth that are the foundation of our faith he tries to take away our prayer life our love for the scriptures and our walk in the spirit we must be on constant guard so the enemy will not gain a foothold in our lives the israelites were using the ark as the presence of god with them so when David assumed the position, he wanted it to come back as a, the presence of God, as God's covenant with them. And that is where today, that's the question we should ask. So are we also to be having objects like that for us to worship, for us to see that, yes, indeed God is with us? We don't need objects. We have Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the only Savior for us. And through him, we are saved. So the text is encouraging us not to give up. Because the enemy is at work. He has come to still to kill and to destroy. But the only person who will give us life eternal is Jesus Christ. So we must be to Jesus. Prayer, the study of the word of God and be dedicated and committed in what we have learned and put them to practice Amen. Yeah, baby, it's a nice year here. But sad year, no. Eh, here, I'm going to go home. Home. I did a course of air high. Ah, eh, here, Christo Nini said, "Um, paye, ube kanya mi asem na afi oni home kong kong anante." So if you are you are you swa. It do baby be brave, no no. Utimi jani kofu no anuko akoshe baby no a bomb paye. Christo Nini so be timi dikai ufi we dream and baby. I say unya mrea ube kanya I'm going to go home. I be tien asem. Ah. Uba bom pai weni, se wo ye Kristo ni peni, ana beso di ni peni, na wo ni mra wan kasa, o te wo ho, enwe de nyako bom enwe, efi wo ho de di ni peni, na de bia wo de o ho keke na ekwe ni mo, a o ntwe nyame anyima, o ntimi ndi ye, enti ade e hia, se Kristo ni bia, edu be bia o beti wo ho si ho, na wo hwe de nyako bom, e pese o chire wo, ana o di weni mo kan. Thank you. In Okay. In the mistake that they made, I just have something here that don't copy others, follow God's work plan. Don't copy others. Others are doing it this way. As Superintendent said earlier, oh, the Philistines were carrying the ark on the, 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 the cart, pulling it. So therefore, they also want to do it that way. You too should not be the same like them. You should be able to follow God's plan for your life. God's plan for you as a leader. God's plan for you as 
the manager, director, whatever, so that you'll be able to carry your people to that plan. God will not hide it from us. You always lead us if we are always in constant with him. So, I think if there's okay you can add in that regard okay thank you so how, what do we consider good traits you can find them in titus 1 7 to 14 mm -hmm. or in timothy 3 from 1 to 7 the good traits of a christian mm -hmm. a leader what we have learned this morning is uprightness uprightness we have learned that you should be upright we have learned that you should be you should be skillful in what you have been given and all that we need is in the Bible to be skillful in God's house or in God's way. The other important thing is to have care. If you're a leader and you do not have care. Mm. Another important thing is that you should be sincere. Sincere in your actions. Sincere in your thoughts. One important thing as a Christian leader is that you learn to be tact. You do not just say it as media maka maka. You have a test skin. You should not be easily offended. In our local parlance, they say, please, we are saying that when it comes, bear it up. Thank you. Thank you. To add one to that is you should be sensitive to God's will and God's leadership. It's a very important thing you should have. Whether at workplace, or in the church you can practice this it will help you and at the end of the day solutions will come we must always go our knees and call on the Lord when David was doing the right thing and death came he went back to God to inquire and he saw in the word of God where they were wrong and they were able to amend it and at the end of the day their vision to bring back the ark to the house of israel it came back there so no matter the challenges we shouldn't lose focus on what we have been called to do amen the question yes. is mm -hmm. what did obed edom did for him to attract god's blessing What did he do? Any is any contribution? And then obey dom. Yeah, yeah. Nyankupo insha eban so. I think in this part he did not do anything specifically, but when the act came, he accepted the presence of God. Okay, there's a comment from the floor, please. Was courageous enough to accept the presence of God when the king himself fled. So sometimes, yes, you might have all the abilities, you might have all the potentialities, but then it takes the courage to step out, regardless of the consequences. Amen. Amen. Okay. So he took courage to accept it because death has occurred. Today you say, Hey, it shouldn't come to my house, like we have covert now you be afraid hey this one but even though death has occurred he took courage so you should be available when the need arise okay, okay. Another there's question. a question our time is about just bear with us on this question says, what are some of the mistakes we ignore or overlook in service today what are some of the mistakes we ignore mm -hmm. in service today? Any comment or question? Yes. Coming to church late. We, 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 we ignore. My sister said coming to church late. We don't see it as an issue. We come to the presence of God anyhow, 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 anyhow but we go to the things of this world promptly for i always say for visas to the airport and to our work we are even there before time but when it comes to the things of god we do it anyhow thank you our sister mm. 
And sometimes we compromise over the word of God to the world, to the benefits we'll get from uh, whatever the issue is. For us to be firm and say, no, I won't do it. Just because of maybe something small will benefit, we'll compromise. And at the end of the day, we will benefit hugely. Everybody will see us that yes, we benefited. Everything is good. But within you, you know very well that as a Christian, you should have done that. But you will continue. So you, we, we compromise sometimes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for coming. Our time is up. Okay. Uh, please feel free to ask questions online. We'll comment. Uh, uh, those who ordered the books, they are in. Those who ordered, sadly, we were asked to order before buying. So this time, we bought limited number. So please contact me if you ordered the book. Uh, I bought some student copy as an extra. So the student copy, I have a few. If you want it, it's available for sale. But it's just because they were expensive, I bought a few. Thank you for coming. Let's just pray, please. Let's commit ourselves to God. You know, some of these things, when we read them from the word of God, it comes easy. But when we are there, we have to take the step. Then the devil begins to lie to us. So I want you to commit yourself. See yourself as a leader in your home, at your work.